メロディーはおそとくふらつくブレスのできない歌は誰も Okay, so our good friend、uh, Scourge, Scourge、um, decided, you know, well, not, not, well, not decided, but she wanted me to have a look at this video from The Odds One Out. Now, keep in mind, I know, I know who The Odds One Out is.、Um, I watch his videos from time to time. Um, especially the one about PBS Kids. I love I loved that because no one, no one really talked about PBS Kids. And, and it's, it's a damn shame because that, that was a good show. It honestly was. But I might just do a reaction of that if I haven't already. If I haven't talked about, P- talked about PBS Kids, I need to talk about PBS Kids, though, in some way, shape, or form. But other than that, this isn't about that. This is about、uh, cats. Look, man, I, <laughs> I've had a c a n since I was little. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see how this goes. If you thought my family owned a lot of hamsters, wait till I tell you about all the cats we had. <laughs> Just a heads up though, some of these cats are dead. They all lived nine happy lives. None of them had a painful death. Except for one, maybe. We don't know. We'll get into that. Jeez. <laughs> so, cats. Some people think cats are jerks and not as loyal or loving as dogs. And they're right. But if you think about it, cats improve our lives every day. How? Think back to YouTube in 2006. What was popular? Cat videos. If it wasn't for cats, we wouldn't have YouTube as a platform. Which I can make the argument is another jerk thing cats did. Now, I'm a cat lover, and anyone who says they dislike cats has obviously never snuggled up with a cat and had it purr on your chest as you pet it for so long that you both fall asleep and all your anxieties melt away, and the only thing you care about is your fragile feline friend. Or they're allergic. Honestly, I think I'm slightly allergic to cats as well. Because every time I snuggle up with one, my eyes get all watery, my nose gets all stuffy.、Mm. But, like, I can deal with that. And yeah, the thing about it is, the reason why we didn't, we didn't, didn't,、uh, you know, didn't get a cat after the first ones because my sister had gotten allergic to them. And I'll tell you the reason why.、Uh, so basically, we were little, and my sister had the bright idea to stick her head in between the,、uh, the pegs of the,、um, the staircase. Like, you know, that, 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 that little、um, banister,、uh, and like the, where, where the nice wooden the wooden stakes are. And like, she decided to stick her head out of that. Well, our cat, as nimble and quick as he was, decided to go up there and scratch my sister's face right here. And for some reason, that got her allergic to cats. Like, she couldn't go near them at all. Like, like the same thing. Her eyes would get all puffy. Her face would blow.、Uh, her face would get. would be marks in, in, like in hives and stuff. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was a terrible sight to see. She couldn't. It got to the point where she couldn't breathe, you know? So, like, after、uh, our first cat had died and、um, passed on, we decided to just go, go to dogs from then on. I had to. It's not that I don't like cats. I love cats. Maybe this is what love feels like. People like to put everybody into two categories either you're a dog person or a cat person. But why do I have to pick just one? Can't I look at these two animals and say that both of them have good qualities that make them amazing pets? Why can't I pick both? I, I'm bisexual for animals. Wow. Wait. That being said,、okay. here's all the cats I had growing up. So, our family had just moved to our new house and we're all getting ready to go to church when my older brother, who was outside for some reason instead of getting ready, heard noises coming from a bush. And when he went to investigate, he found a little baby tabby kitten. He、Aww. told my parents about the cat and they said its mom was probably looking for it, but if the cat was still there when we got back from church, then we could let it inside. And after we got back, my brother checked the bush and the cat was still there. 
So we took her in, we fed her, and we decided to name her Shady after Eminem's The Real Slim Shady because she was an obnoxious cat and didn't like us at all. Yeah, but she's so cute though. And that's how our family got our one and only cat. One cat is enough. There are no more cats. Until one night when I was sitting at the kitchen table and through the window of the back door, I saw two yellow eyes staring at me. And as a kid, I still thought monsters are real. So I pointed it out to my family, hey, there's eyes outside. And everyone turned and was like, what the? So we opened the back door and a piece of the night just walked into the house like it lived there or something. <laughs> Does this mean we have bad luck? Apparently, just waltzing in our house uninvited is a very effective strategy to get adopted because she ended up living with us for the rest of her cat life. Wow. My older sister loved Sailor Moon, and in the show, there's this black cat named Luna. Spoiler alert, Luna's actually an alien that can turn into a human sometimes, but most of the time, she's just a cat. So we named the cat after her, and little old Luna fit great in our home. We were your standard nuclear family with two cats. Just two. We never got another cat ever again. Until one day, this <laughs> other cat appeared in our backyard. We put Luna's and Shady's food bowls outside, which meant our backyard was basically a cat sanctuary for any cat that could jump Oh, the fence. no. And sometimes we would see this calico cat hanging out in our backyard. We didn't know if she already had a home, and she would run away from us if we got close. So, we left out a third food bowl for her. And then she invited some of her siblings along, because two other cats decided to chill in our backyard. And one of the cats was a boy, which meant we had to get all five cats neutered. And just like that, we more than doubled the amount of cats we had. We were feline pretty good. Three more cats added to the family, because why not? That's the perfect amount of cats if you ask me. No, it's not. It's <laughs> unhealthy. It's too much. Now. What? We're not getting three more cats. Two is enough. What? We can't just kick them out. We're going to find them a new home, but we're not keeping them. Okay. Also, you're not allowed to name them. What? If you name them, then you'll get attached to them, and we're not keeping them. So since our mom banned us from naming the cats, we called them the Calico Cat and the two other ones. They're we still naming them. this until our mom found them a new home. Turns out that their new home was our home, because my mom never found them a new home. Wow. So we just left them food outside, and they were happy with that relationship. They would let you pet them sometimes and even sit on your lap. But if you tried to pick them up, they would hiss and bite you. They did not like being picked up or being inside. Mm. They were feral cats. <laughs> One time it was raining, so we thought it would be a good idea to bring the calico cat inside, but she freaked out. Mm. She hissed and scratched us. She hated being inside more than she hated the rain. And by the way, cats can be very loud. Like, as loud as dogs. They just never raise their voices. They're too proper for that. So since she didn't like being inside... We just put her back outside in the pouring rain. We ended up naming the boy cat Spot, the other cat we named Pepper, and the Calico, we didn't change her name. We named her Calico. That's like naming a dog Golden Retriever or Chihuahua. I don't know if that's sad, but you know what is sad? One day Spot just disappeared. Oh. He stopped showing up to the house and we never saw him again. I hope he found a good home, but who knows, you know? Maybe he went off to start a second life. Or a fifth or sixth life, get it, because they have nine lives. Yeah, but he's probably dead. And then I was in high school when Shady died. She had a good home with us, but it was her time to go. So we were down to three cats, and we never got another cat ever again. But then one day, my parents were out on a walk. Come on and now, really? On the side of the road, and she said, can we keep it? But my dad said, no, keep walking, keep walking. And then on their way back from the walk, for some reason my dad didn't take a different route, the cat was still there, meowing at them. So my parents brought her home, and my twin sister named her Pepsi. My sister really loved Pepsi. I was more mm. of a Coke person myself. <laughs> but when my sister went off to college, and I stayed home for community college, we let Pepsi outside one day, and she didn't come back. Wow. We didn't know how to tell my sister that our cat was missing, so we didn't. But we were all really worried. We put up missing posters, and after almost two months of being missing, she just appeared in the backyard. I don't know what happened in that two-month period. She looked fine. Maybe she got adopted by another family, and now some poor family is missing their cat, Salem. Maybe she went out looking for my sister and got lost. Maybe she started acting in some Japanese TV shows. Who knows? But we found her. We didn't even tell my sister that our cat had been missing until after we found Pepsi. So, she wasn't very happy about that. Mm. Then Luna passed away. It was sad, but cats don't live forever. Sorry. Sailor Moon wasn't even a good show anyway.
Now, long time <laughs> Odd Ones Out fans might know this next story. My older brother found another kitten at the gym he worked at, brought her home, and named her Azula. Yo, y'all let me find these texts. Because we found out that Azula was a dude. I was the one, by the way, who saw Azula's firebenders and told everyone. Just wanted to get that part of the story straight. <laughs> so Azula's name had to change, and while this was happening, we had a French foreign exchange student living with us, and she didn't know the word for kitten, so she called him the Baby Cat. And then we all started calling him the Baby Cat, and now that's his name, Baby Cat. That's how he got his name, Baby Cat. Since we're on the topic of pets, I have something that I probably should have mentioned a while ago. For the most part, I try to keep this channel goofy and lighthearted, which is probably why I waited so long to tell you this. But around Christmas of 2017, my dog Georgie passed away. Oh. I remember her in some of my older videos. She was 13 years old, and just like the cats, it was her time to go. Yes, it was sad, but that's what happens to pets. They become your best friend, but they're not in your life forever. So if you have pets, remember to appreciate them now. Yeah. I wouldn't have changed anything about Georgie's life. She was a good dog. Sorry, that part got a little personal. <laughs> And my dog, Poppy, did not take Georgie's death very well, so my parents had to get an emotional support dog for their dog, Aww. and they got Jax, because he liked to jump, so he was their jumping Jax. Aw, what a good name. Hello, everyone. It's been a while since I posted one of these things. Between oh, Thanksgiving man. and YouTube Rewind, I've been pretty busy. Speaking of YouTube Rewind, what did you guys think of it? I mean, I liked it, and I'm not just saying that because I had a... Sp okay, but yeah, that's th that's great. Y'all have a serious cat issue. Like, one, but what well, one runs away, then they come back after two to three months or, uh, or six months, then they pass away, then you get another cat, then uh, oh my god. One cat was enough. I'm sorry, but one pet is enough for me. One pet is enough for me. I don't need to have all 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 types of pets. Just, I, just, just give me one. I will be fine with just one. I still want a, a pet wolf in my life, or in my next life. Just one. If I could get a pet wolf, that would, I'd be okay. I I I would be okay. Just one pet wolf. Just one. Only at one time. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Other than that, um. That has been this video. This is, it, that was a good video, and <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, Oz went out. You, you you make some great content. Uh, subscribe to him if you haven't. He makes some really good content. His stories are very intriguing, interesting, and funny. I love them a lot. But with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, this video. And if, if y'all did have a pet, what kind of stories did y'all have? I would like to hear it as such. This has been Master Real Sakurai. I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.